It's no secret that video games cost a lot of money to make. If you're a big studio, you'll have office space to rent, wages to pay, and of course, big old bonuses to award your less than deserving board of directors. And even if you're just a one-person operation, you've still got to make sure you've got the money to cover silly little things like food and rent. With that said, not all games are created on an equal budget, and so for today's list, we're looking at those that cost more than most. The figures quoted in all our list entries come from official sources, meaning you won't see the likes of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5 here, although it's estimated that those games cost a metric flip ton of money to develop, we don't know for sure. It's also worth noting that dollar values have been adjusted for 2021 inflation, which is why they may seem a little higher than figures you've seen in other places. Finally, all of our entries and figures are correct at time of writing, and may change in future as developers create more content or more expensive games make their way into the world to replace entries in this list. With all of that nice and clear then, I'm the incredibly pricey Peter from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 most expensive video games to develop. Number 10. Battlefield 4 – million dollars. It's probably a surprise to absolutely no one that EA produces some of the most expensive video games around. After all, they've got to spend that microtransaction money somewhere, and there's only so many bottles of Bolly you can buy for the company Christmas party. With that said, Battlefield 4 isn't the most expensive EA title ever made, we'll get to the one that is shortly, but it did still cost the company a pretty penny, with its overall budget coming in at a cool $116 million. Battlefield 4's campaign takes place six years after the events of Battlefield 3, by which time tensions between the USA, Russia, and China are at breaking point. It isn't really surprising that Battlefield 4's budget exceeded the $100 million mark. The game had a brand new engine, tons of new features, including the Levolution gameplay mechanic, and was developed to span two different console generations. According to EACCO Richard Hillman, no, not that one, the average console dev team has around 300 people working on it. And once you factor in all of their wages, plus everything else that goes into making a game, there's little wonder that Battlefield 4 ended up being so pricey to make. Number 9. Shadow of the Tomb Raider – $119 million to $146 million not to spoil this video too much, but this isn't the last time you'll be seeing a game published by Square Enix on this list, either. Those boys, girls, and others sure do like splashing the cash, let me tell you. Shadow is the sequel to 2013's Tomb Raider reboot, and the first of the three not to be developed by Crystal Dynamics, with Eidos Montreal taking the reins instead. The game follows heroine Lara Croft as she makes her way to the legendary city of Piatiti and attempts to prevent the impending apocalypse that she herself has accidentally triggered. <laughs> Whoops, I tell you, if I had a penny for every time that's happened to me. Shadow ended up costing a great deal more to produce than its predecessors, with the final spend sitting somewhere between $119 million and $146 million when adjusted for inflation. The vast majority of the money went into the actual development, with around $38 million being spent on marketing the game. According to IDOS Montreal boss David Anfossi, though, Shadow of the Tomb Raider isn't really an exceptional case, and with the games industry evolving as it is, we can probably expect all the biggest releases to cost sums of money like that, and probably much more, in the future. Number 8. Grand Theft Auto 4 – million dollars. According to expert analysis, Grand Theft Auto V cost Rockstar anywhere up to $287 million to develop, so by comparison, Grand Theft Auto IV was an absolute bargain. I mean, it still cost an absolute boatload of money to produce, but if what the experts say is true, you could create two GTA 4s for the cost of one GTA 5. GTA 4 is set in Liberty City and allows players to explore its sprawling open world as Eastern European immigrant Nico Bellic. Not only is there a rich and interesting main storyline for players to sink their teeth into, in which Nico tries to escape his past while simultaneously navigating the criminal world of Liberty City, but there are also tons of side missions and collectibles for players to be cracking on with. Just a quick look at Grand Theft Auto 4's ginormous content-packed map will tell you exactly why the game costs 
so much to make. The game was in development for almost four years, and in that time, Rockstar were able to produce a massive, well-written and stunning-looking game that would take completionists almost 100 hours to finish. Plus, a year later, the studio also released a pair of fantastic expansions for the game. I'd buy that for $126 million. Number 7. Final Fantasy VII 135 million to 245 million dollars. We've come now to the oldest game on this list, a game that proves that even in the 90s, there was no price too high when it came to developing wonderful RPGs. Well, certainly not for Square, at the very least. Final Fantasy VII is one of the finest RPGs ever made, and has captivated players the world over with its story of one eco-terrorist group's fight to stop an evil megacorporation from draining the planet's life essence. The actual cost of Final Fantasy VII seems to vary depending on which Square executive you ask, but based on all of their answers, the overall cost was anywhere between $135 million and $245 million, adjusted for inflation, and regardless Regardless which end of that scale the game actually fell under, that's silly money. But why was the development so expensive? Well, according to Square USA Vice President Sinichiro Kajitani, it was because, quote, Square was always of the mind it would be best to commit 100% to just one thing, so where, for example, Sega would buy a $10,000 machine, Square would buy a $100,000 machine, end quote. Clearly, their commitment to using only the very best tech available paid off, as within the first day of Final Fantasy VII's launch, it had grossed $99 million. Number 6. Dead Space 2 $145 million Oh, don't look so shocked, we did tell you we hadn't seen the last of EA on this list. Released in January 2011, Dead Space 2 was the follow-up to, you've guessed it, Dante's Inferno. I jest, it was of course the sequel to 2008's Dead Space, and follows protagonist Isaac Clarke as he attempts to fight off not only the terrifying necromorphs, but also the dementia-like mental illness that's plagued him since the events of the previous game. When adjusted for inflation, Dead Space 2 cost EA around $145 million, with half of that figure alone going on the game's marketing. The rest was spent on the 150-strong team who worked on the game for the best part of two and a half years. Although we don't know exactly how much this compares to the cost of the first game, we do know that the budget for Dead Space 2 was much higher. Sadly, although Dead Space 2 went down well with critics and sold in comparable numbers to the first game in the series, due to the inflated budget, EA considers it to be a commercial failure. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Number 5. Destiny – $160 million If you've played the 2014 FPS Destiny, then it probably doesn't come as much of a shock to you that it's on this list, considering just how much content it has. Destiny tasks players with taking on the role of a Guardian, one of the many protectors of Earth's last city, who must travel to different planets in order to destroy alien threats before they're able to wipe out humanity for good. According to worst man in the entire world, probably, Bobby Kotick, Activision Blizzard had initially planned to invest as much as $500 million into the game, and had that been the case, Destiny would have been the most expensive video game ever made, and the number one entry in this list. In the end, though, its total development and marketing costs were less than a third of that sum. The investment paid off, though, as although Destiny only achieved review scores in the mid-70s, it sold Sold like hotcakes and clawed back over $325 million in revenue within the first five days of release, making it the biggest new IP launch of all time. Unfortunately, its critical failure cost Bungie a $2.5 million bonus, which Activision Blizzard would have paid out had the game scored 90 or above. Just another reason why the publisher completely sucks, I suppose. Anyway, while we're on the subject of Bungie, Number 4. Halo 2 – $230 million 
Clearly, Activision Blizzard aren't the only major publisher that's happy to throw money in Bungie's direction, as back in the early 2000s, Microsoft were also making it rain. In fairness, Halo Combat Evolved was nothing short of one of the finest video games ever made, so it's really not all that surprising Microsoft were willing to flash the cash when it came to the sequel. Halo 2 picks up where Combat Evolved left off, taking players to the 26th century once again to reunite with Master Chief and the gang as they attempt to neutralise threats from the Genocidal Covenant and the Parasitic Flood. Like its predecessor, Halo 2 received universal critical acclaim, with critics lauding the title for everything from its audiovisual presentation to its multiplayer. Only one third of Halo 2's budget actually went into developing it, with the rest being funneled into the game's marketing. It was clearly money well spent though, as Halo 2 earned over $120 million in revenue within just 24 hours of release. It also wound up being the best-selling first-gen Xbox game. With all of that said though, if what we've heard about the cost of Halo Infinite is true, then in reality, Halo 2 doesn't even come close to being the most expensive title in the franchise. Number 3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 $316 million you might have assumed that as time has marched ever onward, that the games in the Call of Duty series would have gotten more and more expensive to make. It turns out though, you'd be wrong, as the priciest of all the COD titles was 2009's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, clocking in at a staggering $316 million. My god, you could buy a lot of Snickers for that money. Modern Warfare 2 was the sixth game in the COD series, and served as a direct sequel to 2007's Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. The campaign focuses on two different military units, Task Force 141, who must hunt down the leader of the Russian Ultranationalist Party, and the US Army Rangers, who are defending Washington DC from Russian invasion. So what made Modern Warfare 2 so darned expensive? Well, put simply, marketing. The actual game only cost between 50 and 63 million dollars to develop. <laughs> Only, only $63 million, but Activision Blizzard had visions of the game's launch being on a similar scale to that of a Hollywood blockbuster movie, and as such, over $250 million was spent on trailers, ads, and social media campaigns. The huge investment paid off though, as within just five days, Modern Warfare 2 had generated $500 million in revenue. <laughs> Snickers all around, everyone! Number 2. Cyberpunk 2077 331 million dollars we all know that Cyberpunk 2077 didn't exactly get off to the best start in life when it launched in December 2020, but in the years since, developer CD Projekt Red has put a great deal of time, effort, and presumably money into improving things for players. Is Cyberpunk 2077 the best game ever made? No, probably not, but is it a bit of futuristic dystopian fun? Yeah, you bet your biochips it is. The game is set, shockingly, in the year 2077, and follows the player character V as they deal with a strange cybernetic implant that threatens to overwrite their personality with that of deceased rock star Johnny Silverhand. Only by working together do the pair have any hopes of separating themselves. Is seeing Keanu Reeves everywhere you go really a problem? I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind. Considering just how much fanfare there was surrounding the game prior to its release and how long it took to develop, it's probably unsurprising that Cyberpunk 2077 is amongst the most expensive titles ever made. In fact, it's the most expensive game that's ever been released. If that's the case, I hear you cry, then why isn't it in the number one spot? Oh, patience, young grasshopper, we'll get to that right now. That, that's it, that's the end of number two, we're at number one now. Number one, Star Citizen, $400 million plus. That's right, it's a number one wildcard entry, how exciting! Star Citizen is a standout entry on this list for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's the most expensive video game ever developed, with an investment of $400 million and counting. And secondly, it's not even been released yet, nor are there any signs it will be in the near future. 
Star Citizen was announced in 2012 via a Kickstarter campaign that went on to raise over $2 million. Should it ever be completed, it will have a number of different playable modes and will combine gameplay elements from the MMO, FPS, and space simulation genres. So why is the damn thing costing so much? Well, its protracted development period certainly won't be helping, but that's just a symptom of another problem. Indeed, it seems that Star Citizen's main issue is the ambition of its developers who are clearly trying to pack as much content into the game as is humanly possible. At the time of writing, Star Citizen is still in development, with no indication from the studio, Cloud Imperium Games, that it's likely to be released any time soon. Who knows though, by the time this video goes out, a release date might have been announced. I certainly wouldn't recommend holding your breath though. If you asphyxiate and die and then your family sue the company, that will really increase the cost of the game.